Grenada could be removed from EU blacklisting before month end. Details to the story and more in the National Report. With the National Report, I am Leslie Ann Johnson. Grenada could be off the EU blacklist by the end of this month. Grenada was one of 17 countries blacklisted by the EU Code of Conduct Group Business Taxation. On the 5th of December 2017, the Council approved and published conclusions containing an EU list of non-cooperative jurisdictions in taxation matters. It said that Grenada did not sign or ratify the OECD Multilateral Convention on Mutual Administrative Assistance as amended and did not clearly commit to addressing these issues by the 31st of December 2018. Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell says in any serious and objective situation, Grenada should not have been placed on the list initially since the country has met all the conditions required. On January 23rd, the Financial and Economic Unit of the OECD will be meeting after the response from Grenada and of course we pointing out the, the, the mistakes that were made. Grenada is expected to be removed before the end of January from that blacklist. So I think we would have gone through uh, that process successfully. In response to the blacklisting, the Ministry of Finance had issued a statement saying that Grenada made high-level commitments complete with timelines to the EU Code of Conduct Group by way of letters on the 17th and 20th of November 2017 to concerns raised by the group regarding meeting all the criteria set up by the EU Council for Transparency and Fairness in Taxation and was well on track to doing so. Dr. Mitchell, who was the first guest for the year on GBN's Beyond the Headlines on Monday, said it was accepted that that decision was unfair. But specifically in the case of Grenada, we had asked for um, some communication be sent to us so that we we'll move and, and, and deal with what we we're supposed to do. And we did not, they took a very long time to send it. So since the, the blacklist came in, came on, we, they, they've sent the information, we have then replied, and as I said, it before the end of the month, um, from indication we corresponded and received um, last week, we expect to be removed from that blacklist. A new project costing close to $40 million will replace the Market Access and Rural Enterprise Development Program MAREP, which comes to an end on March 31st. The Climate Smart Agriculture and Rural Enterprise Development Project, which begins on April 1st, will build on the first project, placing emphasis on small business, business startup, road rehabilitation and irrigation, among others. This project again is going to be financed by EFAD and the CDB and the government of Grenada, same finances. But the interesting thing, this project is going to cost in the vicinity of $38 million, running over a five to six year period. The conditions are excellent. The conditions for EFAD loan, for example, is less than 1%, 0.75%, uh, 10 years grace and 30 years to repay. With CDB, it's 1%. Uh, five, five years grace and 20 years to repay. It's a loan and therefore, although it's a con very concessional loan, it, we still have the responsibility to ensure that the resources are managed properly. That's Marip's general manager, Byron Campbell. Just over $15 million have been spent on the first project by government, the Caribbean Development Bank and IFAD. Marip was implemented in 2014 to improve the well-being of people in rural communities. Grenadians and holders of Grenadian passports can now enjoy ease of travel upon arrival at the Morris Bishop International Airport with the introduction of two automated passport control kiosks. Details from Rikisha St. Louis. For years, Grenadians and visitors alike waited in queues to be checked by the immigration officer, which was time-consuming. This is no more with the self-check machines, which allow Grenadians to check themselves in upon arrival before approaching an immigration officer with a receipt. This forms part of efforts by the Immigration Department to enhance its customer service delivery. Inspector Christopher Francis said the kiosks are the new highlights for Grenadians in the arrival launch. On the 29th of November 2017, we instituted the automated passport control system at the Morris Bishop Airport. That is an aid of increasing and improving our customer service delivery to the public. And um, so far we have been having a wonderful response 
persons are eager and queuing up to use the automated control system. It takes about 20 seconds to process one person. So it's really, really fast and persons are really enjoying it. MBIA's Chief Executive Officer Wendy Francette Williams commends the Immigration Department on the enhancements made to ensure border security. I am very pleased with some of the current changes that are taking place, especially self-checking upon arrival, um, the new immigration boots that we have been able to supply to the Immigration Department. I must, I must pay my respects to the Immigration Department for expeditiously carrying out most of these improvements in quick timing. She said Grenadians should be proud of the upgrades which puts us on par with international travel standards. In terms of international standards, I know the self-checking upon arrival, it puts us on par with Jamaica that has moved ahead in the Caribbean in doing it. And we are one of the few islands really at this time that doing sub-checking upon arrival in the Caribbean region and we should be proud of that. The Morris Bishop International Airport is earmarked to receive major expansion upgrades which includes runway rehabilitation, a parallel taxiway with two bridges among others. For the National Report, I am Rakesha St. Louis. This is the National Report, more news after the break. Data reveals that rats and other rodents are responsible for the transmission of many diseases. In Grenada, the most common is leptospirosis and it can cause your death. This disease is directly related to rats and mice infestation. Signs and symptoms of lepto, as it is commonly referred to, are high fever, headache, chills, muscle aches, vomiting, jaundice, and abdominal pain. If your home had or is infected with rats and you have any of these symptoms, please check with your doctor immediately. Declare war on rats. Starve them. Kill them. Rats are the most unwelcomed guests. Reduce, control, eliminate them. This is a message from the Rich to Reef Project, protecting biodiversity and ecosystem functions. All bridges and roads in St. Patrick are to be refurbished. Works Minister the Honorable Gregory Bowen says the contract is already signed and consultants are on board and now they will move to the tendering process. He spoke to this and other projects to come and stream during the endorsement of the Honorable Alvin Dabrio on Sunday. What took us so long, brothers and sisters, is because someone designed this road to be 12 feet in certain areas. But brothers and sisters, we ensure that it will be the 16 meters throughout, brothers and sisters. The QOT project phase three, this is on stream, we already signed, and so we'll see many roads being rehabilitated. Our CASIP project, telecommunication project, where we'll be running our undersea cable from St. George to Caracou, will be accomplished. And every building, including every school, will be connected by fiber so that the best teacher in mathematics could stay in any school in Grenada, Caracol, and Pretty Martinique and teach any student in every school throughout Grenada, Caracol, and Pretty Martinique, brothers and sisters. Finance Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell says there is nothing to create an issue about with regard to the loan authorization bill. Recently, the Ministry of Finance sought to clarify concerns raised in some quarters about the issue and stated in a press release that the Public Finance Management Act authorizes the Minister of Finance to borrow on behalf of the government of Grenada in any form and from any legitimate source, whether domestic or external, an amount not exceeding 100 million US dollars. This money will be used to finance capital projects and programs to advance the socio-economic development of the country. The ministry says this is a legal requirement that must accompany and has accompanied every annual national budget under all governments, should there be a need to borrow at any time during the year. On GBN's Beyond the Headlines program on Monday, Dr. Mitchell said this is a simple procedure and government must have the authorization to accept loans during the year if the need arises. After the budget is passed under those conditions, you then have to have the authority to be able to accept loans during the year if you need to. So what you would do is ask for the loan authorization 
at the maximum that you expect to go. Generally speaking, you've never really used that maximum. But if you do not have the authority, the, the institution, the Kuwaiti Fund, and uh, the Arab Fund, uh, CDB, the international organizations, IDB, any organization who is giving you money will insist that they get the parliament backing. Okay. And therefore, if you want to wait, then you could then do it every time you go to a loan. You get to have to accept a loan. Then you have to go to parliament each time. Instead of that, what you do is go to a loan authorization bill at its max, which allows you then to borrow on and individual cases and report, of course, to the country as you borrow. But it will be part of the budget process. And that's the National Report. I'm Leslie Ann Johnson.